I know, I am a Grinch. That's what I'm known by. But I accept myself the way I am, right? Just like my Dojo Life teammates do. They have to, right? Put up with me being a Grinch. But it's not about me. It's about my three personal favorite shows of 2022. Two, I'm sorry, 221. So it's, it was a hard choice because all of them are great, right? But if I had to choose three that I find memorable, uh, I could. I would like to definitely start with the one we did with uh, recently with Angela Castillo, the the COO and co-founder of Hello Guru. Not because of the topic, which was supercharging the way product managers work with product data, but it was about the inspiration that I was able to draw from that conversation because she is an inspiration. She's a young woman who's leading a tech company in this day and age. Talk about. Uh, an accomplishment, right? So um, that was one that definitely uh, not only grabbed my attention, but I find extremely memorable and something to look up to. Maybe when I get to grow up, I want to be like Angela. <laughs> and At Hello Guru, we unlock human potential. So what we want is for technology to be a catalyst for people to focus in what they do best, which is creating human relationships and uh, doing creative work and uh, allowing machines to do their job, which is data entry, data analytics, and all the repetitive work. So we are a no-code tool uh, for uh, product managers to be able to aggregate, visualize data, create automations so that uh, the developers can focus in technologies that are going to change the world and people that do not know how to code, like me, can, can still uh, create software and create things out of technology. Then the next one is the no-show show. The no-show show is one that, as the name implies, we did when, when a guest did not show up. So it was a no-show. So it was an opportunity for all of us at Dojo Life to come together as a team and talk about what Dojo Life meant for us. And it was uh, also the timing was good because it was uh, uh, held during the team building week, which was aligned with what we were doing, conveying in that in that space of um, live video broadcast. We came together, we talked about Dojo Live and what it means to us. So it was a good opportunity to share with the world why we're doing this. Well, you, you don't have, have to tell them that, yeah, Ruben, but you can you can simply just turn the camera so that the viewers can just see what's going on. Hello. Yeah, I, I can do that. I can do that. Show the views. Show the views. <laughs> Show the views. Hello, everyone. Say hello. Okay, so. Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, hola para el doyo. We're live. Están en vivo. Están en vivo. Hola, el doyo. Doyo. <laughs> okay, Ruben, I think we're going to keep you doing your day job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, continuing on the conversation, I'll never forget uh, last year, you know, we were scheduled to go to Cancun in May, and then we ended up obviously uh, canceling all that because of COVID. But we had a virtual team building an event, and I was just blown away that people were up to like five in the morning on Zoom hanging out, having a good time virtually together. I was like, I'm like, at first I was like, this is going to suck. How are we going to do this? And then all of a sudden, like people were playing games, virtual games. And some of these games were very competitive and a lot of fun with the breakout rooms and all. And uh, I just, uh, to me, it just talks volumes to our culture. And then finally, the one we did with Daniel Curran, uh, the, 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 um... The uh, self-proclaimed uh, badass rock ex-rocket scientist, rock star. I mean, again, it's it's not about the platform, Custix, right? Which is a voter and customer demand platform. But it was about Daniel's particular, um, very particular, very unique views and angles on life. Things like biohacking, for example. Even physical immortality. That's what he talked about. It was possible from according to him. So it that's that made it so interesting that I said, hmm, I gotta keep tabs on what Daniel's doing and building out there. Well I, I started um, basically I was explaining earlier, I was, I started with inferior products and services that I experienced, like, you know, we're using this, this application here and it makes it hard for me to put a Custex banner in my background. Right. So 
that's an inferior product that shouldn't have been, you know, gone to market and so on. So we have a mechanism where we're going to force the vendor. Um, we're going to collect data from all the customers. We're going to force the vendor to improve that product by enabling perfect competition. And the way we do that is making that data available to everyone and letting all of their competitors know about it. Anyway, so those were the three ones that I found more most memorable. It was a difficult choice, but I had to do it. And uh, join us on 222 for more of these conversations with tech luminaries and very interesting people. And um, uh, enjoy the rest of the holidays and go back to your uh, honey roasted ham or turkey, tamales, whatever it is that you're having with your family. Don't drink too much. And if you do, well, make it something that's worth remembering too, like a dark beer, for example. Anyway, happy 222. Thank you.